Welcome along to uh, Balloon Tube. Uh, today we're going to do the uh, little duck. Here he is. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Why does everyone go quack, 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 quack when everyone mentions duck? They do though, don't they? So anyway, <laughs> you're going to need uh, free stretch the balloon. So give it a good stretch through your finger and thumb. And also uh, stretch it after you've inflated it. Uh, leave about four fingers uninflated. You need two pinch twists. So two one and a half finger bubble here. Another one and a half finger bubble there. I get the knot going around the second twist, and then the knot goes over the top as you turn one of those bubbles. You can do a single pinch twist at a single, but I prefer to do it this way. So you end up like this. You need a uh, a, a small one finger bubble uh, spacer bubble, and then this is going to be the head. So you want a, a four finger fold twist. So a four finger fold twist. Then squeeze the air. A six finger bubble. A uh, one finger pinch twist. A uh, pinch twist is to hold the um, duck's towel up. A three finger fold twist. Uh, uh, quite a small one. Uh, there you go. Make, it, make sure that it's roughly uh, there. We go. That'll do. <laughs> that'll do. It shouldn't be that'll do. It should look nice. Alright. Uh, you've got a six finger bubble here. So come back with another six finger bubble. Alright. And then uh, that goes round the, uh, the fold twist. Right, then the, um, you need another bubble back to the, this is going to be the towel, so the way it's going to go like that. Over. This is how it's going to sort of sit. It's going to get it in the right, so it's going to sit a bit like this. You need another uh, six finger bubble here. Alright, but I generally make that slightly, probably a five finger bubble, so that it pulls it and uh, it makes the body look a bit round up and shape it. Alright, then the space of bubbles there, this balloon here, goes um, underneath the six finger, pull the two pinch twists down, wrap that around so it goes like this. So this is going to be, that's going to be the duck, so you can see there the two, that's why you've got the spacer so that holds it in place. And then uh, put the twist where the pinch twist is, wrap that around and deflate that yellow balloon, your favourite method. Alright, don't use your teeth. The confusion your teeth is terrible. <laughs> there we go. So, so it ends up looking a little bit okay. so, It'll be a bit like this. Now you need a 160 in orange. Uh, you need a five finger fold twist for the beak. So uh, squeeze the air along, make it a little bit softer. So it's a, about a five finger fold twist. And then you need two three finger bubbles. So, but squeeze the air, these have to be quite soft. You know, so a three finger bubble there, squeeze the air, make it quite soft. It's, um, it's very, when you attach it here, it's all very tight. So uh, I've got these being a little bit softer. Now these turn into um, two pinch twists actually. So, uh, there go. so it's um, a five finger fold twist and two three finger turning pinch twists. Get rid of the, uh, you can use the rest of that for your next duck speed if you wanted to. I'll just wrap that down a couple of times. There we go. Now then, um, I'm going to take the, um, the folded bit out just so that you can see it's a bit clearer what happens here. So this is just going to go around the, um, the fold twist, the fourth of the fold twist. Alright, so just uh, wrap that around. And uh, I'll put the, uh, the spacer bubble and that back uh, Now, strain it all up a little bit. And, uh, Sometimes you have to open up the um, two six finger bubbles there just to push his head back a little bit. That uh, sits nicely. All right, and then just have the um, his eyes. So for his eyes, just um, between a three and a four finger bubble. Mine's are probably about a four actually, and I uh, split that into two. Tie these up, get your cutter or your scissors to cut off the excess, and uh, I'm going to here, look at this. <laughs> yep, yeah. I've got my scissors, which are a little bit on the block side, but there you go. They've managed it, so you end up with two bubbles there. Push that between the uh, fold press. And now, uh, straighten out his, um, his beak a little. But not there. Pipe that up. And, uh, yeah. Do it 
do this out of shot and pack it up. Come back up. So it's perfect. I've just switched it. Don't open. <laughs> I just don't open. I was just trying to get it all to sit nice for you. But sometimes when you're doing it on the, on the camera, it doesn't sit well. So you've got to put it on the side of the top. Put this behind you. There you go. All right. You just have to open those two six finger bubbles out. Push the head back a bit. Um, that will sit nice. And, uh, <laughs> the, uh, that's annoying these are, I'm going to take these eyes out again, see, that bubble keeps showing, and that's really annoying me. Uh, I'm just trying to put it again, and tied it up. Shall I start again? No, you can see. Good. There we are. Lovely. Perfect. There you go, and then you have to draw. Alright, so here's our little duck. <laughs> and uh, yeah, draw his eyes on, let's draw his eyes on. Right. I use a Pentel Maxi Flow. Uh, just in case you was wondering, you might not be there. Just in case you want. There you go. Right. And uh, oh, sometimes um, I just put a little, uh, a couple of uh, there for on, on his beak. So uh, there we go. Let's uh, give a little twirl round for you. And there's our duck. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, if you could hit the subscribe button, that'd be very nice. All right, so we'll see you another time. Bye.